Welcome to part two in this lesson on how to make a simple PHP helper class. In the last part we left off was creating a helper class that will input and display our um, CSS data. So what we did was, just to recap, we set a um, variable for the class called base URL, which holds the base URL and which will keep it consistent throughout the whole uh, class, then we create a, uh, a method called CSS, which accepts a parameter of d uh, data, which could be an array, or it can just be the um, location of the file. So just to go ahead and uh, preview this, okay, you can see it's uh, initiated here, where uh, the href is the CSS folder, which is right there styles which is right there okay and the rail style sheet we're in Firefox you see there's a style added now let's go ahead and see what it will look like without it just comment that out refresh styles not added you can check the source no style Save that, refresh, you got the style. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create a helper function for something else that we're going to, that we will uh, more likely use a lot in a web project, the anchor tag. And again, you must say, well, well, why would I need to do this? Yet again, this will help keep uh, things uniformed. So let's go ahead and do function. We'll call it anchor. Alright, it's going to set the parameters of name, the location, and let's go ahead and do extras. And we'll set this equal to null because it's extras, and if they don't want to add it, they don't have to. Okay, so let's go ahead and be start. We're going to do return link. All right, so let's start building the link. Would be equals to a. I do it this way because it makes sure I don't forget anything, and it makes it easier to follow along. So now we're going to add to the uh, a tag the href, which it equals to location. And again, I'm just I can go ahead and perform, you know, a couple more uh, validations and like if checks, make sure this is like a PHP HTML file. This is just a very simple function that you're going to be using and within your own project if you're going to copy the source code but um, just for the sake of purpose and keeping this short I'm not going to go ahead and go over all the steps on how to you know to verify it. it's a correct file name and stuff like that okay so we got that now let's do if is array extras okay and if array key exists this will go ahead and check to see if the ID is an ex the extras array we'll do something like this so we give the so you know we have an option of adding class and ID. I'm not going to go ahead and do it for every single thing, but you know you know uh, if you need to have things for like you know on mouse over or title, you can go ahead and add that into your uh, you can add that in your array and then hop into the code and search uh, check to see if it if it uh, exists itself 
for your own project, but I'm just gonna go ahead, skip over all those. So ID, and then we'll do a link, ID equals ID. Okay, if, okay, and this one's gonna be for class. Okay. Yeah, and again, we'll do the same thing. Class equals, oh, I just noticed a problem. That's extras. Okay, link. Class equals class. Okay, so we have that. We can go right into here. Just go ahead and finish off the link tag. Okay, and then we can put the name right here. Close that. All right, so I'll save that. I'm going to go ahead to my index file, do PHP echo helper, and do anchor. All right, so it'll be the name. Let's do this is a test okay I created a file right here uh, test HTML so we can do test dot HTML let's pass an array of ID equals test Okay, save that. I just remembered something right here for location. We want to do, we want to use also the base URL because say if, uh, if the link you're doing isn't in the same directory, we want to make sure it goes, uh, everything works correctly. So that. Okay, so it's one time over. Refresh. Okay. All right, so let's check the source code out. You can see that works. The ID works. We got everything we need. All right, just to, let's do this ID test. color up oh, that didn't work I think this should work there we go all right so you can see that yet again that the style sheet works and also that the IDs also working so everything's working fine now let's see if this will work if we uh we're doing like a if a get uh link like with an ID so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all that do echo get ID All right, go back into the index page. We can do test.php id equals one. Save that. Refresh. Click. Up.
Okay, so there's a problem with our f function. Save that. Let's refresh. All right, there we go. That works. I had to remove that period. Okay, so that's how to make a quick uh, anchor tag method in a very simple CSS PHP helper class. Okay, um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment if there's any type of tutorial that you're looking for using PHP, HTML5, CSS3. And uh, thanks for watching.